Okay, so here's what happens in Bleach. Part 3. Ichigo wakes up and is mad that Yoruchi fled with them. Yoruchi says that none of their groups stand a chance of beating Byakuya, but Ichigo has the potential to do so. She takes Ichigo to a training area and teaches him about Bankai, the next form of the Zanpakuto. Elsewhere, Uryu and Orihime have been disguising themselves as Soul Reapers, but they're soon discovered by Captain Kurotsuchi. Knowing that Orihime hates fighting, Uryu threatens a nearby Soul Reaper into retreating with her. Uryu is initially outmatched by Kurosuchi and paralyzed by his Zanpakuto's ability. Uryu uses a technique that grants him tremendous power in exchange for him losing his abilities after the fight. Kurosuchi releases his Bankai, but Uryu still overwhelms him. However, Kurosuchi escapes and his lieutenant thanks Uryu for not killing him and gives him the antidote to Kurosuchi's poison. Uryu slowly makes his way towards Rukia's cell, but is knocked out by 7th Division Captain Tosin. Meanwhile, Yuruji trains Ichigo by having him fight his Zanpakuto spirit. Uryu wakes up with his injuries healed and finds a bandaged Ganju and Chad in jail with them. They decide that waiting for Ichigo is about all they can do. The Soul Reaper that ran away with Orihime encounters Lieutenant Yachiru who brings him to her captain Zaraki. Kenpachi wants to help Orihime because he wants to see Ichigo again so they can have a rematch. Meanwhile, Lieutenant Kira is released from jail by his captain Gin and Renji and Hinamori break out of their cells. Hearing about the escape, Rangiko and Hitsugaya run to Hinamori's cell. Worried that Hinamori is chasing after Gin, Hitsugaya runs off to the 3rd Division barracks. Hitsugaya confronts Gin and Kira, but Hinamori arrives and points her sword at a confused Hitsugaya. The letter she received from her captain Aizen detailed a convoluted plot about Hitsugaya being behind his murder. A confused Hitsugaya says that there's no way that Aizen would ever say such a thing. An exasperated Hinamori attacks and he's forced to knock her out. Hitsugaya and Gin battle for a little bit until Gin sends an attack towards Hinamori. Rangiku shows up in time to block it and Gin runs away, suggesting that they tend to Hinamori. Ichigo continues to train. Renji enters the training area and updates Ichigo that Rukia's execution date has been changed to tomorrow. Then he proceeds to go do his own Bankai training. Rukia has a flashback about her former lieutenant Kayan. During a fight with a hollow, it possessed him and Rukia was forced to kill him. Meanwhile, Orihime and the 11 squad members break Uryu, Ganju, and Chad out of jail. Captain Tosin and Komamura and their lieutenants eventually confront the group. Ikaku and Yumichika fight the lieutenants and Zaraki fights both captains while the rest of the group runs on ahead. Having finished his Bankai training, Renji runs off to try to save Rukia but is confronted by his captain Byakuya. Byakuya uses his Bankai and defeats Renji. Zaraki defeats Tozen but Komamura prevents him from finishing him off. But the blow from Zaraki damages his mask and reveals that he's actually a wolf person. The two proceed to fight. Rukia's execution commences atop a cliff. The weapon used for the execution takes the form of a fiery bird that proceeds to attack, but Ichigo shows up and blocks it. It doubles back for another attack, but this time Captain Shunsuri and Ukitake prevent it from doing so. An injured Renji arrives and Ichigo throws Rukia to him. Some of the lieutenants attempt to pursue him, but Ichigo stops him from doing so. Then Byakuya shows up to fight. Head Captain Yamamoto disparages Shunsui and Ukitaki, saying that they have to follow orders as captains even if they don't agree with them. The two run away and Yamamoto pursues them. Second Division Captain Soifan is driven away from the hill by Yorichi. Ichigo and Byakuya both fight using their Bankai. Near the end of the fight, Ichigo begins losing, but the mask appears on his face and the white version of himself takes over his body. It pressures Byakuya, but Ichigo eventually regains control and defeats him. Byakuya says that he was unable to help Rukia due to his position as a captain and noble status, but that he'll no longer interfere with Rukia's rescue. Elsewhere, Hitsugaya and Rangiku discover that Central 46, the group responsible for issuing out punishments for crimes committed by Soul Reapers, have been dead for quite some time. They spot Kira and chase him. Kira says that Hinamori has been following them, prompting Hitsugaya to run off. Rangiku and Kira fight. Hinamori finds the dead Central 46, and Gin shows up and tells her to follow him. He leads her to a room where her captain Aizen reveals that he's very much alive, and stabs her. Hitsugaya arrives and attacks Aizen, but he's no match for him. Captain Unohana and Lieutenant Kotetsu arrive in time to see this. Aizen explains that his sword's ability lets him put anyone that's seen and activate under a complete hypnosis. Renji and Rukia encounter Tosin, who teleports them right back to the execution hill. Gin and Aizen do the same. Kotetsu broadcasts the message to everybody that Aizen is alive and that he, Tosin, and Gin are traitors. Everybody stops fighting and heads back to the execution hill. Aizen makes quick work of Ichigo and Renji. Aizen has a big speech about how all Soul Reapers have limits, and the only way for them to overcome them is for them to essentially become hybrid hollow Shinigami beings. To do this, they need an item known as the Hogyoku. It turned out that the shopkeeper Urahara actually had a Hogyoku and tried to destroy it, but couldn't. So in an attempt to hide it from Aizen, he hid it inside of his soul so he could never find it. That soul happened to be Rukia. 
Eisen said that he murdered all the Central 46 members and has been masquerading them ever since, issuing orders including retrieving Rukia from the human world and ordering her execution, ultimately planning to retrieve the Hogyoku from her soul after it was vaporized by the bird in the execution. He uses another method to extract the Hogyoku from Rukia. After he's finished, he orders Gin to kill her, but Byakuya arrives in time to save her. Everybody else shows up and tries to arrest Aizen, Gin, and Tosin. They're seemingly cornered, but Hollows open up a hole in the sky and pull them into their world. After about a week of recovery in Soul Society, Ichigo and his friends finally head home. Rukia decides to stay behind in Soul Society, and Captain Ugitake gives Ichigo a substitute Soul Reaper badge, identifying him as an ally of Soul Society. And that's what happens in Bleach.